Okay, example 22.1. Roger made the trip on Sunday and Judy made the trip, same trip on Monday. Roger traveled at 12 miles per hour, Judy traveled at 20 miles per hour, so her time was two hours less than Roger's time. How far did they travel? Rate, time, distance, uniform motion problems. We dealt with these last year in Algebra 1. Some of you got to a point of mastery on these. Some of you were still struggling with them even towards the end of the year. So let me try and make some sense out of it for those of you who are struggling and hopefully remind those of you who actually master this. Um, we have Roger and Judy, and these two people are in different vehicles making the same trip on different days. All right, so let's focus first of all on the words made the same trip. All right, if I went from Tilden to Norfolk today, and you went from Tilden to Norfolk tomorrow, we made the same trip, right? Yeah. What's true about those two trips? The distances. The distances will be equal to each other, right? So the first priority on these problems always is to establish the relationship and the distances. And what I can see here is that I've got Roger and I've got Judy, and Roger's making some trip of some unknown length, and Judy's making a, a trip of also an unknown length, but I do know about the lengths that the lengths are equal to each other. So the first thing I can see about this is that Roger's distance is equal to Judy's distance. That's always priority one on a uniform motion problem. Identify how the distances relate to each other. For the next couple lessons before we deal with the new aspect of this, they're all going to be equal to each other. Okay? That doesn't mean you don't go through the thought processes involved on the first and next couple lessons of why they're equal to each other, so you're more aware of that when it happens. Next thing we got to do is I need to inspect this word problem for anything involving rate or time. So anything involving rate or time. That highlighter doesn't work. Okay. So do I know anything about Roger's speed? Yes. 12 what? miles. Roger traveled at 12 miles per hour. It tells us very specifically how fast he's going. I don't know why he's driving so slowly, but that's where he's going. Maybe, maybe he's on a bike. He's on, maybe he's on a horse, maybe he's on a tractor, I don't know. But Roger's going 12 miles an hour. <laughs> Tractors are kind of slow are nowadays, aren't they? They were fast back then. Yeah, well, I don't know. But all I know is I'm on the highway going to nor towards Norfolk. I get a tractor in front of me. You're I got to pass it. All right. Judy traveled 20 miles per hour. She's not going much faster, is she? But she is she's, faster. She's on a faster tractor. She's got that lead foot going 20 miles an hour. Okay. <laughs> so, but we know their speeds. They tell us specifically their speeds. So, I'm going to inspect this problem. I'm going to find out how fast people are going, or I'm going to be able to use a variable to represent them. So, I'm told specific numbers there. I can put specific numbers in. Now, looking at time information, her time was two hours less than Roger's time. Do they tell me either time? No. No. I'm allowed to use one variable. But there's a relationship between the times, so I can use the same variable to represent both. So her time, two hours less than Roger's time. For me, the one that's being compared to, so less than Roger's time, I'm going to let his time be t. Her time was two hours less, t minus 2. Okay. What? Why is it not t minus t? Um, I did that last year. Right. Okay. The way you determine whether it's t minus 2 or 2 minus t, it's um, when you do less than something less than something else, it's the second thing minus the first thing. Okay. All right. And, and this is the more typical way of doing it. The way that it's going to get the 2 minus, the two minus t look is if they tell you the total time or the round trip time. Oh, and I'm going to discuss that. I was going to discuss it after the second one, but I can even discuss it after this one. But, uh, but there is a time when it's 2 minus t, but it, it specifically is going to be the round trip took this long or the total time was this much. That's when you get the number first. Otherwise, it's usually this. All right, so t and two, t minus 2 are the times of Roger Judy. Her time is 2 hours less than his time. So his time is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 is 2 less than 8. And that's another way of determining which way to do it properly. All right. Once I know the rates and the times, either with specific numbers or with algebraic expressions using the same variable, once I know all four of these pieces of information, rate times time equals distance is the relationship between these three quantities. So 12 times t is equal to 12t for Roger's distance. 20 times the quantity t minus 2 makes 20t minus 40 for Judy's distance. Once I have my distance expressions figured out, 
Roger's distance is equal to Judy's distance. I take my distance expression that I figured out, my equation, and replace it with the objects representing their distances. So 12t equals 20 minus 40t. Oh, 20t minus 40. Might help to actually write the right stuff down here, sorry. 20t minus 40. Roger's distance equals Judy's distance. Um, easiest way to solve, in my opinion, is going to be move 20 over here. So minus 20t goes over there. 12t minus 20t makes negative 8t. Negative 40 is left on the right-hand side. Divide both sides by negative 8, you're going to end up with t is equal to 5 hours. Okay, the last step on these problems, and the step that a lot of people forget to do, is you have to answer the question they're asking. The question they're asking is, how far do they travel? Okay, you got three things here. Rate is how fast, time how long, distance how far. How far is a question of distance. They're asking for their distance. We found time, which is how long. It took Roger five hours to get to town. If I were Roger, I'd be upset. But Roger did five hours. All right, how long did it take Judy? Three hours. three hours. We know that because her time is two hours less. Five minus two equals three hours, right? We know exactly how long Roger and Judy traveled, but the distance, how far they traveled, is what they're asking for. So 12 times 5 equals 60. 20 times 3 equals 60. Notice the distances are equal to each other. They should be. All right? So... Any box that contains a letter represents something you don't know. It also represents something they might ask. Mm -hmm. So make sure that, don't immediately assume that what you get is an answer to the equation is the answer to the question. It will answer one of the four boxes, but the box they're looking for is one of these two. They're the same, so it doesn't matter which one you find. But Now getting to Braden's issue, um, let me t talk about this real quick. All right? And it's, it's not just Braden's issue, you just want to brought it up. But... Um, when time comes up in these problems, sometimes it's letter minus number, sometimes it's number minus letter, and it's a matter of knowing when. When it says the round trip took 10 hours, the total time was 10 hours. One of those two statements when they're talking about time, and you got your rate time distance block going on here. Okay, this is the one where if this is T, the total time is 10 hours. All right. That means that this time and this time make 10 hours altogether. So that's not 10 hours, that's not 10 hours, but together they're 10 hours. All right? So let's just, for the sake of argument, let's just say that's W. All right? Just to give it another. They're, they're not necessarily the same, right? This might be 1, that might be 9. 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, all those make 10. So there's no requirement they have to be the same. It could be 5 and 5, maybe they are the same. But I, I don't have any information saying they're the same. I know that T plus W is equal to 10, right? Which means that W would have to equal 10 minus T. Notice number minus letter in that situation. So that's why when you get a round trip or a total time, you're going to do the 10 minus T. Another thing we're going to do in this um, aspect of time on the clock happens in the second problem, okay, with Johnny and Thomas. <clears throat> With Johnny and Thomas, we know a beginning time and an ending time for both, okay? If you get a beginning time for both, but not an ending time, uh, let's see how to handle that situation, all right? So, we got Emilio leaving at 9 a.m. and Alex leaving at 11 a.m. They both continue to go until the end of the problem, all right? Who's traveled for more time, Emilio or Alex? How many more hours? Two. Two more hours, right? So Emilio left two hours earlier, so that means Emilio was on the road for two hours before Alex even left the house. All right? So if it says what time was it, we don't know the ending time, that's the type of thinking we have to get in our brain. Did they end up, did they get Oh, there? yeah, the end of the problem is going to be the same for both. Like what time was it when um, Alex caught Emilio? Let's say that Emilio is going slower, Alex is going faster, trying to catch Emilio. Whatever, all right? So Emilio left to get somewhere down the road. He's just driving along at probably 12 miles an hour, like Roger on the last problem. Then Emilio jumps in his car two hours later and chases him, going 20 miles an hour and eventually catches him, right? So that ending part of the problem is going to be the same time, all right? So Emilio left two hours before Alex, which means 
If I got Emilio and Alex, I got my rate time distance going on here, right? Emilio's time is two more than Alex's time. So I can either go T for Alex, T plus two for Emilio, or T for Emilio, T minus two for Alex. Take your pick. That would work, or if this is T, then T plus two. Either way you do it, since he left earlier, his time is two hours more than Alex who left later. The difficulty in that is 11 is two more than nine. 11 is a bigger number, and in our brain we're starting to think bigger number for Alex, but actually get a bigger number for Emilio because he's been on the road longer. All right, so that, that type of thinking, you have to really put your brain in, your head, and think through those problems before you just start writing stuff down to make sure those times get set up properly. Is there any, is there any